Hey, one uh, thing before we get started today, I want to go ahead and put it out there. I'm going to put it in the description of probably my live stream and my videos until it happens. But um, I've been spending a little time chit-chatting with uh, Treasure Hunting with Swifty, and he's doing the fundraiser. He's having the seated hunt in May for the Piney River Volunteer Fire Department, and it's a that's a that's a cause that really could use a little bit of assistance i don't know how much this is going to help or whatnot but uh the paypal link will be in the description which will be his email address and also you can also email him directly about uh being a part of the seated hunt if you can't go i know that i don't think that i can make that uh so i'm gonna uh, provide a donation but i thought i'd put it out there for everybody if you want to donate to that or if you want to join that hunt uh get with Swifty. Uh, his channel is Treasure Hunting with Swifty. His email will be in the description of this video, probably in most of my videos up until the time of the hunt. And um, you can donate to that cause at his email address at the PayPal me link. Thanks very much. Welcome everybody. Hey, I'm down here in East Texas today. We're in a little small town in a little public park. And if you can see way over on the other side of that shelter house, I'm with Kay from Kay's Digging It today. I don't know if she even know I turned on my camera, but she's already got a signal over there and we just walked into the park. She is on it. I better get on it too. First signal is a 5961. Mm. Yeah. Old school Pepsi bottle cap. First coin signal of the day. Right somewhere around there. Uh, could be a penny, could be a dime. Oh, it's because it flew out. And there she be. Man, the soil is sandy. And it looks like it's a regular old memorial. Four holes, one coin. And it is not a memorial. It is a zinc penny, but the ground did not destroy it. 1996 second coin signal of the day which hit a little higher which I suspected might oh where'd it go now that's an actual memorial at least they're getting a little older now they're zinking first dime I'm not going to get too excited, but it's a, it's a bigger coin. I'm going to assume that it's a clad quarter. I haven't seen any quarters today. And it is a clad quarter. There's George. Looks like it is 1995. But, clad gold. So at this point, I got a few little things that I want to say. Uh, I'm collecting up clad. I will uh, announce my clad goal at the end of the Texas video or videos. I'm not sure how long this one's going to go. Also, I'm going to keep my videos to, to a certain length. I'm going to try to keep them at a, I don't want the, my regular videos to be too long. So I'm going to keep them kind of compacted uh, between five and 10 minutes for the most part. So wherever we end up, I may have to split this into two. Another Clyde dime. It's been slow going the last uh, hour and a half or so, but I think I just dug a an old padlock. Um, yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Not a lot of not a lot of targets other than Clyde over here. You only show so many Clyde clips, but I see a symbol on it. I will. And it's really green, so I'm assuming it's pretty old. I'll clean this up, and uh, yeah, I feel like part of the, the shank is right there. I have a feeling this is going to be an older one. Very cool. Finally, a nice old relic. Padlock I found the other day. Metal detecting. Going to clean it. Scraping the dirt away with a skewer toothpick. So less than a minute later, it becomes identified. 
uh, identifiable. Work on. So the next point is, is that you can take this a little further and get a little further down, but I like to leave a little bit of the dirt in the grooves because I like that it's readily identifiable. I can see the word Acme on this side and I spin it around on the other side. I see the initials RFD, which will allow me to look this lock up and hopefully identify it. Thanks for watching. Okay, same day, it's just a little bit later. Kay and I are now at an old park in another town. It's an old ball field park. Doesn't look like it's been used much in a while. So we're gonna try around these bleachers then hit some of these fields. Wish us luck. Okay, I just found a regular old St. Penny, but is it bad that I've never seen this back of the coin? Yeah, I felt pretty dumb. So probably one of my better signals since we've been out here to the ballpark. I've just been in this area here. Um, haven't been here that long, maybe half hour, 45 minutes. I got a decent high tone. There, there be, it's definitely a coin. This looks like another penny. Gonna have to guess that's a copper one this time, not a zinc. Yep. Well, well, it's a zipper. I bet somebody was Missing that right away. Oh, I see a coin in the bottom of the hole. And that's probably not my signal either. Well, that's a crappy zinc penny. I can almost tell you right now. So if you can't tell, I'm under the bleachers. And I thought I'd show one shot from in here. I just popped a plug. Well, kind of a plug, because it's not really plugging. Nah, right there appears to be a coin see what it is oh just a junky old penny I guess look kind of shiny for a second there it's probably where it's just corroded okay anyway on to the next oh there was more than one and another looks like a state quarter yeah possibly I don't think it's gonna be anything else in here I don't know how old these fields are but there's Washington, 25 cent all day. Take it. So we're picking this place dry. It's another quarter underneath the bleachers. Somebody's been here and detected, I'm absolutely sure of it. So we're having to go in all the places that they didn't want to dig to hit fine coins. Looks like a state's quarter. Oh, I see it, what is it? I see 1895 up there. Must be Washington State. Everybody's got to have a little fun, right? Surface find. Oh, I didn't think it's metal. Well, I'm definitely going to keep it because it says it's a four-leaf clover for good luck. But it's plastic. St. Patty's Day. Yesterday, four-leaf clover for good luck. This thing is staying in my pocket. So I drive down to, to Texas to go metal detect after, when I, while I'm visiting with my in-laws. And go figure, one of the one of the things that I find down here today, the first day I get to detect, is a Kentucky State Quarter. So not that I necessarily wanted to, but I'm going to stop this video right, right there. Um, that would conclude the first day of our hunt. Uh, we hit two different parks. Both of them were mid 1900s and then the other one was I'd say that probably about the same time frame um, I'll do the wrap up at the end of next week's video where we go to a, another park and a, and a ball field that's a lot earlier um, but all things said it was a great day and a great hunt uh, um, also just for everybody's information only uh, Thursday night on Thursday, Thursday coming up this week will be CJ's Infotech. Uh, he's going to come in here and he's going to explain to everybody how you can improve your YouTube channel through technology and, you know, the tools that are given. Uh, great guy, uh, wonderful personality. I love his videos. We should have a lot of fun in here on Thursday. Uh, don't want to keep you too long tonight. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you guys on Thursday.